everyone in the dark about how this whole process has unfolded. But before I begin with a couple of things that I'd like to say, I'd like to acknowledge Peter Gutwin and Kim Booth and also the Deputy Mayor of Dorset, Yvonne Thorne, and all other councillors that have taken the time to come this morning. We as a community really, really appreciate that. And I think just the show of support to Dr McGinnity through this difficult and challenging time, especially from Dr McGinnity, his family, his loyal friends and his patients, is absolutely necessary. And I believe that this rally today, we need to send a strong and clear message to the Medical Council of Tasmania that the way this suspension has unfolded in the community, least of all for Dr McGinnity, is totally unacceptable and has caused untold angst, concern, frustration and especially, as Yasmin said, when the reason for the haste in suspending Dr McGinnity was cited as being in the interest of the public. I cannot understand that at all. And it's difficult enough for the community to not know why this suspension has been placed on Dr McGinnity, but also the fact that he has not been away, made aware of the nature of the allegations. And it's, that's even more difficult to comprehend because I would have thought that at least he should have the opportunity to be able to respond to any allegations that have been raised. Yeah. 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 I'd also like to congratulate Yasmin Rawnsley and her strong team of helpers and also Kevin Davis and his wife for being so proactive and coordinating this rally today. It's fantastic and thanks Yasmin and thanks Kevin the show of support for Dr McGinnity and it just shows me the strength and support that this community provides.